Hello YouTube, welcome back to another tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial on tween service. So let's begin. So in here I've got two things. One is a small white frame and the second one is this large black frame. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to get this guy to go from here all the way across the screen to here. And we want it to be smooth, like we don't want it to be instant. So let's see how we would do that. So first I have a script here and what I'm going to do is we're going to do script.parent.position equals and since we're trying to get this guy to go from here all the way to here, the position would be this right here. So we're going to do udim2.new 0.9790 0 0.9620. Okay, and let's add a weight 3 so we know that it's actually working. And let's reset this. So now we test it and let's see what happens. And yeah, so it went from here all the way to here. But the problem is that happened very instantaneously. We don't want it to go instantaneously. We want it to smoothly go from here, slowly make its way all the way to its destination. So to do that, we need to use something called tween service. And what tween service is, is it basically is how to get something from one destination to another destination in some amount of time smoothly. So let's try the same thing using something called tween service. And as you can see, it worked. So how does this whole tween service thing work anyway? All right, so basically what we're doing is we're defining something called tween service, which is a service that allows things to move smoothly from one destination to another destination. And this is the tween info, which is the information about the tween. And when I say tween, I'm basically talking about some object that means going from one destination to another just destination. So what we're doing is we're creating a new tween info, which is information about the tween or information about the smoothness of like how it's going from one place to another. And we're setting the time to two, which is two seconds. So this is saying it's going to take two seconds to go from here to here and the easing style and easing direction. And I'll introduce these two things later on in the video. So keep watching. So this is the actual tween itself. And what we're saying is let's create a new tween and we're going to create it on script.parent, which is script and this is the parent. So this is the parent of the script or the small white frame. And the tween info of the tween will be this stuff that we defined above. And here's the destination. So here's the end goal. The end goal is the position should be set to this value, which is the corner of the screen. And if you notice, that's the same value that we had earlier. This value right here is the same value as this value right here. Well, a little bit different, but it's the same thing. And it's basically, this value is just the corner of the screen. So we're basically saying, tween service, take this thing from here all the way to the corner of the screen, let it take two seconds, let it be linear, and let it be out, and then just play it. And after we do all that, we basically just have a tween. And that's basically how you get things to go smoothly from one direction to another. So now let me show you how the easing style and easing direction work. All right, so I've made a ton of text labels here and the names of the text labels or the text of them are basically they represent what the easing style is. So this one will be easing style.linear. This one will be easing style.sign. See right here? And all of these represent the easing styles. So let's see how this works. And as you can see, this is how we can modify the tween easing style to achieve a different animation for our tweens. So instead of what we did before, which was linear, instead of going straight from one place to another, if we tried something like bounce, it would bounce really quickly, or it would go really quickly and then it would bounce a little bit and lose its friction. So that's how we can make our tweens look a little bit more vibrant for our game. So now let's see how we can apply this to other things besides GUIs. All right, so I'm gonna add a part into workspace and let's start coding this thing. So normally how we would increase a part size would be we would just extend the length and then we'd figure out the size and then we'd just do something like local part equals workspace dot part, part dot size equals vector three dot new and then the new size right here. If you don't understand vector three, I have a video on that and I'll link it in the description for you. 
So this is how we would instantaneously change the size from something that looks small to something that looks big. So let's try to see how this works in Roblox Studio. Wait 10 or wait, let's do wait 4. And if we look at this here, and that's basically, basically this is just like how I showed you in the beginning, how when we tried to increase the position of the frame from one diagonal corner to another diagonal corner and it happened instantly, that's how you would do it instantly. So now let's figure out how to do this with tween service. So we would do local tween service equals game get service tween service. And then we define our tween info, which if you remember, it's the properties of the tween. Tween info dot new, and then the duration is the first argument, which is two seconds, as you can see right here. Second argument is easing style, so enum dot easing style. And we tried linear before, let's do bounce. And then we're gonna do the easing direction of out. And then we're gonna do local tween equals tween service create. And we'll put the part here. So now the first thing is part, which is the object that you wanna tween. Second thing is the tween info, which is the properties of the tween. And then the third thing is the property table or the stuff that gets changed. And in this case, we're trying to set the size to this new value. So we'll just do that. And lastly, we just do tween play. And now what this will do is it'll do the same thing, but it'll happen a lot more smoothly. So we'll do wait two now. And let's see. Boom. So just like what happened to that GUI, just like how it bounced from one end of the screen to another, the same thing can be done with 3D objects like this part. And we aren't just limited to changing one property. Like instead of changing size, I could also change the position. So if I wanted to change this position to be like right here, I just copy this down, set the position to the value, and then just revert it back. And now if we try it, it'll do both size and position at the same time, just like that. Alright guys, so that's tween service in a nutshell. If you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button and remember to subscribe. If you want a part 2 because there's actually a little bit more that I could cover on tween info, just comment down below. Thank you for watching. See you next video.